Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today with Notes with Mr. Jankowski again. We're on page 79 of our math notebook. And on this last page of the uh, slide deck here on Jamboard, I actually included page 79 and page 318. I'm going to make a separate video that covers page 318, so you can watch that too later on. But let's focus on page 79. And if you're taking notes with me in your math notebook, please go to page 79 right now and uh, we'll get started. So at the very top of page 79, the instructions say, determine whether the value is a solution of the equation or not. And we've done this before, except with expressions. And uh, there was always a question before about this little semicolon that's here in the middle. So we'll talk about that. But I'm going to rewrite this equation down below for number one. 11 equals n plus 6. And then that semicolon and n equals 5. So when you see this in the in the book, this little semicolon, this is just separating ideas. You might see that in a sentence as well, two uh, um, ideas that are related, but separate in a sentence can be separated by a semicolon. And so this is the same thing. We have a number sentence here. We have an equation. We have 11 equals n plus 6 and n equals 5 according to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if 5 is actually a solution for this equation. So we're going to take 5 and we're going to plug it into n and we're going to work it out and see what happens. Now, of course, you're going to want to follow order of operations here with any two or more step uh, equation. So we'll see if we run into that today and uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. We have 5 is what n is supposedly equal to. I'm going to plug that in and I'm going to rewrite this equation down below as 11 equals 5 instead of n plus 6. All right, we'll take the next step here and do, uh, do the addition problem 5 plus 6 and 5 plus 6, of course, is 11. And 11 does indeed equal 11. So this is a solution, and I'll write that there here on the side. This is a solution. It's important to show your work on these problems, and it won't require a whole lot of work to show. All right, number two is very similar, so I'm going to skip down to number three. And for number three, I'm going to rewrite the equation so that it appears a little bit different. I'm going to rewrite it as x divided by 9 equals 4. And then that semicolon separating those ideas and x supposedly equals 36. So once again, I'm going to substitute the 36 for x and see if that works. And if it does, that's great. And if it doesn't, then it's not a solution. So let's plug that in to x. And instead of x, I'm going to have 36. So 36 divided by 9 equals 4. And does 36 divided by 9 actually equal 4? It does. 36 divided by 9 is 4, and 4 equals 4. So this is a solution. OK. Let's take a look at another one. We have number four. That is another problem, slightly different. This time we have multiplication instead of division. We have 15 times t. I'll make my t have a little tail to distinguish that from a plus sign. Equals 100. Now, it says semicolon that t equals 6. So 6 is a, supposedly a solution to t. So we're going to plug that 6 in to t. And we're going to rewrite the equation 15 times 6. I'm going to change that to green, actually. equals 100.
And so I'm going to work this out on the side. 15 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 90. So does 90 equal 100? Obviously not. This is, I'm not going to put an X. That might be confusing. I'm just going to put this is not a solution. All right. Let's see if there's another one here that we can do. Maybe a little further down. Let's take a look at this one. Number seven. So I'm going to rewrite this as y divided by 12 equals 2, semicolon. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what the, what's there. y equals 24. So again, I'm going to take my 24, plug it into y, and rewrite the problem. 24 divided by 12 equals 2. I'm going to test this out and see. 24 divided by 12, well, that does, in fact, equal 2. 2 does equal 2. Give it a check mark. This is a solution. All right. The other problems on this page I would like you to complete as independent practice. And, of course, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. And I will do my best to get back to you to help you. Or, of course, I'll see you in class. You can ask me in class as well. And uh, we'll keep practicing. Thank you for taking notes today on page 79. And be sure to watch the next video for page 318 as we go over the guided practice there in our Go Math book. See you all in the next video. Thank you.